Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder van build. We've struggled with the standard reversing lamps for long enough. It's time for an upgrade. Sometimes we make changes and uh, they take a little bit of getting used to. So I stripped out the back end of the van last night and I really wasn't that impressed. But I've come out this morning. I think I like it. I might put a little nudge rail under there. Yeah, so that was my uncle. Just having a crack. Um, yeah. I really like it. I really do like it now. It's a bit open. So, spotlights. Fog lights, sorry. Definitely want some more fog lights because when I'm reversing up and down here at night, it's I've got a couple of inches each side of the vehicle, so I just need to make sure that I can see properly and of late I haven't been able to. The camera, I don't know, I don't know what it is with the camera. It works great some days and it doesn't on others and I think that's down to the, the amount of light. So the camera up there, that one here, yeah. that there needs a little bit of light so we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll do this and see if that improves it. If it doesn't, it may me need another camera. So a little experiment today, we're going to take out the rear light and we're going to see if we put a light on it, a reversing light, if that brings up any errors on the dashboard or um, if it works perfectly or if we have to put a resistor in line, you know, like a, a canvas decoder. We'll have a look anyway. I'm going to remove this near side rear light. To do that we have three torques, one there, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So, like I said, T20, take the three torques out, there's three clips on the other side, and they just slide out. Just got to be careful not to break on clips. I've put the van in reverse, put the reverse light on this side, we just need to find the connections from this side now. Got a multimeter set to DC. Let's see, we've got the van set up in reverse. And what have we got there? 11.75. It's good. Put the light there so we can see if it comes on. <coughs> what we'll do is we'll just drop these in the back of the connector and see how we get on. See if we get any. Well, that's not the result I was expecting. Exactly. It took us five minutes of faffing about, but that found the fault, and it was simply a connection. What did I do different? <laughs> God knows. Anyway, that definitely works. Just need to go and check, see if we've got any errors at that end. Alright, let's pop it in reverse. So if there's any messages come up now, one message. Let's have to change all now. Well, we know that. So we're in reverse. No issues. That's great. So we're just going to splice the cable in there. There's a couple of scotch locks. Um, and that'll give us our additional reverse. Lights. Cool. I'm just deciding where to, to mount these lights. And I think... If I just put them on the bottom of the bumper, it'll be ideal. Because it's quite rigid. There's not a lot of weight in these, do you know what I mean? So, by securing them here, if we go off that line there, should be okay. And I'm going to follow the line of the bumper so the light sprays out of the sides as well as at the back. So, I think that'll do it. Got a big hefty washer, 
and that'll support it. Got a big plate on there, so when that's on, it'll be quite a substantial fitting. So we need an M8 through here. And we'll just get it bolted up. So we're about five millimeters in from that edge. So make sure that we've got the oh, <laughs> we've got the washer in the right place. We'll pop that up there. I think around right about there onto us. So we'll just put a little mark on with that. They look pretty good there. So there we have our rubber access panel. <coughs> that I've used a number of times as you can see. Now let's see if we can find I thought I found it straight away. Riles, can you come and wiggle me that um, blue rod, please? What? At the back here, uh -huh. there's a blue rod. Can you just give it a wiggle? Uh -huh. like... A little bit harder, son. OK, dude. What? I think it's past where I want it to be. Find a route through from here to the underside. I think we need to take this off. So I've just pop that clip off there. Just bit of a little tiny bit of panel. Don't need to take it all out. Um, we'll remove that clip out the bottom. I've already pushed it through. Put the forks on this half end. It should come off. I sounded really confident there, didn't I? You know, it should come off. Well, little did I know, it wasn't going to come off. I thought it would just be, take a couple of torque screws out, release a couple of clips on the bumper, and it would just fall out. Did I ever get it wrong? So, this piece here is actually tied into the rear bumper. It's also then clipped under the side trim. Um, behind the amber indicator there There's a clip that pushes into the panel and it there's one in the bottom one and one in the Top little section that covers the hinge area You don't really need to take the top one out, but you definitely need to take the bottom one out Then it's all tied into the bumper now it needs to be unclipped and pulled away at the same time But I didn't know this so I fought on for a little while until I worked out what was going on. And sometimes this is what you need to do. You know, if you don't know something, just don't bull on and don't, <laughs> you know, don't rip it apart to the point where it's broken and you can't put it back together. Just take your time, ease a little bit here, a little bit there, and it will eventually come. I eventually worked out that the rear bumper needed to come off completely. So it was just a matter of undoing a couple of torques along the top and then unclipping the bottom and it all come apart very easy. In fact, the rest of it come apart really easy after that as well. And this is what I needed to do, you know. I needed to learn that lesson, find out how the panels were put together, and then in the future, I know how to get it apart. Now that's off, just a matter of removing this bottom vent. And again, just take my time, using these plastic tools. The battery's died on the phone, so I'm not quite sure where you've seen up to. So we've removed that panel. There's a clip behind there. Um, oh, I must have clipped it all back together. 
There's a clip for that one, which we've not taken out. There's a clip for that one. Obviously a clip down there, and two in there. And then it ties into all this. So we've removed the back bumper. Um, this is what we've been looking for, this hole here. Seeing that, that's where the tow bar cable goes through. And that runs up into the back of the light, so we're right where we want to be. So I'm going to feed the cables through there now. So we need to put a, a hole in here. There you go, that's all holding. Feed this cable through now. falling down so I think that's about enough cable through for us if you look down that hole we've got a clear path through all we need to do is rub that in push it down that puts it into the area we're working right, we need to just tape this end on the end that's already been passed through the grommet that through, guide it up. Hands of us. Let's stick that back. So we've got that cable through into this area now. We've just got to rod it up that last little bit. So we'll have a quick tidy up and we'll turn the van around so we can get it the other side. Put that side back together now, we've got the cable up, just a matter of making the connection. Um, but we're going to do the same on this side. I want each lamp to be fed off the cor corresponding light. That way if a fuse blows, we know we don't lose both lights. Um, but it'll also give us a bit of a balanced load as well. So we'll get cracked on, get this side stripped out and do the exact same. So what we're looking for is blue white and brown is our pump there. Ground. So literally we're gonna put them two together like that. So a little bit out of practice, I forgot to I keep forgetting to press play. So just line that up. Give it a little pinch. Be nice. Just make sure it's all the way home. Scotch locks are ideal for this kind of connection. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prove that connection before we go any further. Make sure that it's sound. And by plugging in the light below. Well. Excellent. Do the same on the other side. Cover will be a good one. Okay, we've got the rear bumper back on. We've got both lights connected up now, and both lights tied in to the electrics. So I just need to go and prove that everything still works. What have we got? Oh, full house so far. I think I need to change that lamp out for an LED as well. Something a, a brighter white. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with them. They're going to be perfect addition. Very good. <laughs> there's always one, isn't there? It doesn't matter which job I do, there's always one bit that doesn't want to work. It turned out just to be simply a loose connection, so we pushed it back together and it worked fine. So I thought I'd show you how tight my drive is. Getting up and down here in daylight isn't a problem, but you imagine doing this, reversing up this drive at night time. It is so tight, I have about two inches on each side of the van. And getting back up the drive is just as difficult. It's easy in daylight, but at night time, I have to rely on um, my skills. <laughs> I, uh, I've done this quite a few times now, so I'm pretty proficient. But the odd time I still catch the wing mirror on the house. And I have the scars to prove it. New and old together. What a difference. Standard reversing lamp against the new one. I'm gonna make all the difference now. Huh? It's still not even dark. That is awesome, man. So that is lighting up all of that. There is a little bit of light off the house, but in all honesty, <laughs> this is. You can see the reflection on the on the actual gate. You know, this, this bit here, that's these, this is very blind, so cover them up, Let's cover them up, it's one out, two out, that's great, fantastic. I've just ordered some lamps to replace them because when, now that I've seen these, I want them to be as bright. That's that's fantastic. Pattern on the road's about equal as well, so just to bits. That really looks good now. Back end of the van is really good. So now the light's gone off. There you go. That is perfect. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. 
liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.